Is it on right now? Okay. So, anyways, um, ugh, not that. But anyways, because um, I found even more annoying stuff. So as you know, that's the tar oh no ah I just forgot to turn on private browsing. Eeks. Okay. So anyways, the task files um malicious advertising. Um, but if you click anywhere on the page, even if it's an error page like that, it actually triggers the some. Um, malicious advertising and I think I actually um, saw that is a different website this time uh, but anyways um, now this time I found a, li a link box uh, so, uh, uh, some uh, like cyber criminals has abused the system and as you can see like that um, it automatically just sends it directly and before the um, link box timer actually lets you um, skip it. So as you can see, it actually uh, triggered that. And now if I load that, um, as you can see, it is very generic. So to me, it puts up a red flag that it is a virus. It just says double click. And actually, um, let me just open this virus file again. And instead of opening it, I'll show package contents. Uh, contents, resources, and as you can see, there's a, something called Omnibar.Safari extension, and there's a splash.html. It just says starting installation immediately, it doesn't mention the company name or the software name, and then it says um, non default toolbar items, hidden bars. I mean, no, no, it says non default toolbar items, so yes, yeah, so a web browser toolbar, it seems. Uh, extension removed txt. So, complete the video and then generic application dot icon. Um, so yeah, it just says double click here and then uh, show view options. Yep, it just it's just the uh, image that they use. We just press white and then just delete the thing. Yeah. So anyways, um, if I get info, uh, there's no, uh, it just says version 2.0, that's all. Uh, and so it is very generic and, uh, puts up a red flag that it is a virus. Let me just delete this thing here. Now, every time if I just, uh, leave page, whatever, I don't care. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm still on private browsing, so I'm going to click download folder link. And um, it's going to trigger it again. So watch the timer here and watch when the file gets dropped. Just like that, before you can press the skip button. So anyways, let's just close that thing in there. There's no logos or anything telling you what you're getting. So if you click privacy policy, you just get a page not found error. And so... Um, Apparently, it seems that this is a generic um, thing that they use for this um, framework. And it just says, please email us at email. Uh, so they clearly never cared about that part. Uh, so they're obviously trying to propagate a virus more than anything else. And uh, back to previous page. So yeah, it just keeps saying all these file not found errors. Please email us at email. So, if I actually click, uh, let me just open this frame in a new tab here, and uh, just leave that. I don't care. Now, if I press here, um, again, uh, take a look at this URL. It says fsoft for down dot com, and it says link box in the URL. So they clearly had this um thing in the uh 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 thing in mind to um, propagate a virus before the link box counter actually enables you to skip it. So, see, says custom template says A down Pro, pr uh, probably an alternate name for the virus, and then I press go to home page, it just redirects to filesfrog.com. So it could be that um, this may be just a different um, site to just um, I don't know, but they're probably working with them, I, I think. I'm not sure, but I don't really trust that 
I don't really use that site anyways. So again, as you can see, it actually tried to propagate the virus. And from a few attempts of the video, if I could just sort by list and uh, choose name. I actually already download like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 copies of that same virus. Uh, uh, just because as so yeah it actually just transmitted automatically it's like the um spaces not slim .com virus on uh, mobile devices especially android where um it does a similar thing it will actually trigger like uh, malicious advertising but on a mobile device um uh, and uh yeah only under certain conditions like if you're connected to a cellular network instead of a wi-fi and um very hard to capture on camera, but I've seen the Slim Spots virus even on iOS where um, my dad was actually visiting a blog and then um, it actually triggered an app store. I mean, uh, it actually triggered um, to actually switch over to the app store and then load up a page there for a, one of those like uh, more money or more friends kind of simulation games. And then um, for me, it actually... Um, when it actually transmit, uh, it actually triggered the um, ad, and then um, on my device, uh, keep in mind I use Android, uh, so, anyways, it actually um, triggered that, and then I suddenly saw something that said starting download. So um, now because of Android's um, nature, where uh, I mean at least for touch with it seems that uh, whenever you tap on a file, instead of actually going into the downloads app and then you tap on the file to open it. It actually opens the file straight away, so that was probably a window for them to um, trigger the virus, but it actually goes into the APK installer. However, I have AVG antivirus installed on my phone, and um, it actually, uh, I have it set so that it scans for viruses before opening the um, standard Android APK installer. So, um, with that, AVG actually told me it was a virus, I don't know why it was, but I know the file was named something like Sexy Face or something. Like enticing you to click on it and install a virus onto your phone and infect you your phone and you probably uh steals all your contacts, text messages, calls and everything. Uh so yeah. And we uh why am I just switched to my desktop? But anyways, uh that's it for now. This is Kevin signing off. Thanks for watching.